Soy ingeniera de Verizon y hoy estamos activando 5G a lo largo del país con la cobertura de 5G Nationwide y en más y más ciudades el performance incomparable de Ultra Wideband, el 5G más rápido del mundo. No solo va a cambiar tu teléfono, va a transformar negocios e industrias enteras. Estoy orgullosa porque no tomamos el camino fácil. Hicimos 5G como debe ser. Este es el 5G que todos estábamos esperando, solo en Verizon. Good morning. Welcome to Up to Speed. Today is the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month, and I'm so excited to be your host for today. I'm Diana Alvear. Welcome to Up to Speed. And we have so much awesome stuff to talk about, including the moment that we broke the internet. Yes, we broke YouTube for 18 seconds, all in the name of celebrating Latinx heritage. But before we get to that, I have some very special words from our Diego Scotti. Hola a todos. Uh, muy contento de estar hoy con ustedes celebrando Hispanic Heritage Month. And as uh, Hispanics and Latinos, we make up the fastest growing cohort in the United States. The power of the Hispanic consumer is a huge opportunity for Verizon. Just to give you some context, in 2019, Latinx consumers represented $1.7 trillion in buying power, and that number is only going to grow in the years to come. That's why Verizon is laser focused on meeting the specific needs of the Latinxers. Now we can't do that without outstanding and driven Latinx B teamers like you. You're a huge part of our success. And it's important to me to make sure that you know the great role you all play in moving us forward. We should all embrace and be proud of our heritage and our past. This is how we represent our families for today and for tomorrow. So I can't find better ways to say this. Seamos orgullosos de nuestras raíces y trabajemos juntos para un país y un futuro mejor para todos. Somos Verizon y somos Latinos. Diego, gracias. It is amazing to see what we can accomplish together, especially when Latinx V-teamers put their mind to something. So here's the thing. We all miss live music so much. I mean, the opportunity to go see the artists whose music moves us, to see them in person, to see them together with your friends and family, that's been kind of tough to miss out on. So what did the V team do? They decided to partner with Univision through Euphoria Live and basically come up with the most epic concert ever as a gift to everybody around the world. And by the way, they didn't just come up with any old concert. They partnered with the biggest star in the world, Bad Bunny. Amazing. I was on Twitter at the time and no one could talk about anything else. It was just like Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny. And I was like, wow, we did it. All right. I want to revisit some of those stats though, because they blew my mind after I really took a look at them. So again, over 10 million US and global viewers crashing YouTube for 18 seconds. I mean, hello, you know, 1.2 million mentions of Bad Bunny on Twitter. 90% of our social media share was positive, and we even did some good, right? Because we're the V team. We ended the concert in front of Harlem Hospital, and then we partnered with a small business to provide 250 meals. So all in all, just like I said, epic, epic, epic. And I want to shout out a few special people for helping make that happen. Jackie Brown, Lily Salinas, and the rest of the marketing team, you guys rock. That was just amazing to have during Hispanic Heritage Month. 
Now that's not all. I want to run through a couple of other things that we did. We launched the Verizon Latino Apple Music Room that houses the best playlists and video content from fan favorite Latin artists curated exclusively for Verizon. We also partnered with the Paley Center to feature notable Latino history and people. And we had an excellent panel on Yahoo News, thanks to our partners here. This was called Count Us In, the Census, the Election, and the Latinx Community. And I was so privileged to be able to host that panel. And boy, did it make a splash. We had over 850,000 views in just two days. So clearly everything that we're talking about, everything that we're trying to make happen is resonating and there's so much more to come. Now, a big reason that these events were so successful is because at Verizon, they know that representation is everything. Everything, everything, everything. And we have a strong Latina who makes it her mission to make Verizon inclusive. So we're not gonna be one of those companies that talks about there's no talent out there. The talent is there and we have to meet the talent where they are. And so we have great partnerships with organizations like the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, as an example, um, Alpha, as another example. Um, certainly even earlier in the pipeline, you know, across the pipeline, when you think about high schools, right, and the students that are attending our high schools, organizations like Aspira. So it's important that once we are able to attract the talent and have them believe that they want to come here and be part of the V team, how do they grow their careers? And so it's important to this Latinx community to come into that kind of an environment and believe that they can build a career and a future. We have formal programs to make sure that we're developing the leadership of our Latinx community. We also have informal programs, mentoring programs. So you might be in one business group or one function and suddenly your network has expanded and given you visibility to places you might otherwise not have even considered as a possibility for your career. We wanna to continue to also make sure that people have this sense that they belong at Verizon, that this is a place where they can be themselves, where they can bring their full rich experiences and backgrounds into the workplace. This culture needs to be inclusive. This culture needs to be adaptive to change, flexible, agile, exciting. Um, and so we have to continue to evolve our culture so that we are attractive um, and that people want to stay. Gracias, Magda. You know, everything she says is so true, that we must be inclusive and we must have a seat at the table. And part of that means having a strong ERG where you feel like there's other people like you that share your community and your values and all those sorts of things. And thankfully, we have SOMOS. And I had a blast speaking with one of the global co-leads, Ivan Berg, about why it's so important to him to make SOMOS the place to be. We are looking to be the voice of the Latinx community here at Verizon globally. You know, Verizon is a global company and Somos also has global membership. Uh, right now, Somos is around 3,000 plus um, members and growing rapidly year over year. Some of the parts of our mission are growing our employee base, um, making sure that we are able to up the numbers in the in the Latinx pool from an employee perspective, increasing opportunities for those very employees, both professionally and personally, and allowing them development opportunities. And then also being a support system, almost like a cheerleader for our external and internal community through cultural education. And the education piece is gonna be really important because when you think about education, also driving that back from a business perspective is driving that education about the Latinx community by leveraging our members' unique perspective and providing some uh, valuable input into Verizon as they work to continue penetrating the Latinx community, which has a lot of untapped potential. So most, just like all the other ERGs, follows the four Cs, the career, the customer, the culture, and the community. And really revolving around those four things is what SOMOS is all about and ensuring that we're attacking all those things appropriately. Making people feel like they're a part of something, that they see people that uh, look and sound, share the same values around music, food, culture, but then also integrating also the professional development and some of the community aspect to it. You meet new friends, you make new connections, you have some fun along the way, and you also do some really meaningful work.
Ivan, thank you so much. And now to a bittersweet moment in the show. This is our last Mi Historia segment for Up to Speed, a segment that I've really come to love. I've met so many amazing and outstanding Latinx V teamers, and this next one is no exception. She was just a young Puerto Rican girl with dreams to make it big in the Big Apple. Now she's a working mom, and you're going to love her. Hi, I'm Jessica Ricaute, and I'm an account director for Verizon Media in the New York office. Born and raised in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I lived there till I was 18. Since I was a little girl, I had been coming to New York. I had done the whole like standing in Times Square and looking at the lights. So that was always like a goal to be in New York. So the day of graduation, my parents tell me pack up a U-Haul. Literally, I graduated at 10 a.m. and at 5 p.m. I was on a U-Haul driving to New York City. I made it with two friends. We came out here. I remember we were like getting on the last pole, coming in and being like, so where are we sleeping tonight? And then the inedible came. It's like, okay, what do I do for a job now? And I ended up in an advertising agency. It was very interesting, like I loved it. I became a media buyer and I had two big accounts. And on those accounts, I started getting like requests for like Univision and Telemundo. All of a sudden, my Spanish fluency became a thing at work. It wasn't something that I selected to do or put in my resume as like something that I could do. It was just something that landed on my lap. And I had really great mentors and they kept on pushing me being like, if you like this area, why don't you just own it? I think the power of Verizon in market is that we have a lot. <laughs> we have solutions for everybody, which is our superpower, really. The truth is that we have a lot of scale when it comes to Hispanic. We no longer are this like sub niche market. It's amazing to work with Verizon being able to represent the Hispanic community because everything that I do is talking about how like a brand could tap into this market all around, but I also help break stereotypes. Motherhood has been amazing, but it puts a different filter in your life or perspective. Awareness is a bigger thing, I guess, of what is happening today and trying to create a better world for him. Being a new mother during the pandemic is horrible, to be honest. The first day we went to work from home for the pandemic was my first day from back from maternity leave. I had to encounter a pandemic and working from home and being a new working mom all at once. I couldn't find things like diaper and formula. Like that was horrible. And then you couple that with the fact that my family is in Puerto Rico. So they're really far away. The good thing is that I'm home for all his firsts. I was home when he started to crawl, he's starting to get up, he's about to walk, he got his first tooth. So I'm home for all that. I think being Latina is just a full superpower. I, I think there isn't one thing that is the best. There is this passion for life, for every aspect of life that comes with being Latina. If it's about food, if it's about music, if it's about your friends and family, it's about everything. You just are so passionate about everything that life has to offer. My husband likes to say that I like my closet is all colorful because that's how I live my life. Very like joyful and happy and loud. I think that all comes with being Latino. My advice would be ponte las pilas para todo, para tu trabajo, en cosas de la casa, para tu familia, para todo. Eh, creo que siendo una mujer latina significa ponte las pilas a todo momento. Oh my goodness, your little nugget is so cute. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing your life and your values with us. And you know, we're not done. Hispanic Heritage Month may be ending, but we have so many good things happening when it comes to Latinx um, events and activations and concerts and classes and panels, all sorts of things. And our other ERGs are just as hard at work. In fact, Bold has their homecoming week kicking off this coming Monday, and it's going to feature everything from HBCU mixers to the state of the yard to sister to sister events. So that is a can't miss as well. That is going to do it for us this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. What a great month. It makes me so proud. Felicidades to everybody involved. I'm Diana Alviar. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, you're up to speed.